I'm meeting with Gianluca Garofoli from the Marche region in Italy and his family's Garofoli Vineyard. Garofoli goes back to 1871. And, you know, like most of Italy, there's a lot of history to the wine production. But I think there's also been a lot of changes in the Marche between 1871 and now. What are some of the highlights that your family has seen over this time? Yeah, a lot of big changes uh, in Italy in general and, um, and for sure in the, the way of making wine and thinking about wine. In fact, uh, uh, when we started to, to make wine, it was just after the unification of Italy. The Italian uh, nation, country, was born in uh, 1861, so it was born uh, like 10 years later. And uh, obviously the way of uh, making and drinking wine in those years were were like uh, making bread, making pasta, making wine. It was a uh, kind of source of calories for people. <laughs> Part of everyday life. Yes, yes, exactly. Not necessarily um, for the like enjoyment and the focus that we yes. put on it today. Yeah. The joy was there, I'm sure, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but in a different way. Just after the Second World War, we started to use uh, bottles uh, uh, and uh, we were really in Italy one of the first uh, wineries to do, to do that. Mm -hmm. we, we added our first in bottling line in 1947, so really... So really a pioneer for what we think of as wine enjoyment today. Exactly, exactly. And this allowed us uh, to, to distribute our wines not only in the region of Marche, because uh, we had the bottle, there was a... Con there was a was closure, closure, there was a cork. Everything. Yeah. So we started to distribute all over, all over Italy having warehouses because uh, we had uh, no highways, no motorways uh, and we had to take back the empty bottle to clean it up and to refill it. And, uh, and uh, I think that especially in those years, in the um, 50s and 60s, we started to change a little bit uh, the way of um, making wine and uh, distributing wine and thinking about wine, something uh, more we're thinking today. Uh, the real change happened in the 70s uh, uh, when um, I think uh, all over Italy we started to make uh, uh, high quality grapes. Uh, so we switched from uh, a very old style agriculture way of doing things to a new one. So reducing the yield per hectares and uh, selecting the clones and studying on wine mm -hmm. and make things uh, properly at the cellar because obviously people wanted something, uh, something uh, uh, better. And after the 70s, your uncle and your father yep. were uh, leading the winery and they introduced this wine, the Podium. Yes, absolutely. In fact, uh, my father Gianfranco uh, and my uncle Carlo, they were uh, on the, in their 20s and 30s in the 80s and uh, they really understood and uh, made the change at uh, Garofoli Winery in a modern way with the modern wines. Podium for sure was a, a very innovative uh, well, I think it's um, a great story thinking about wine in the 1870s as just something people drank to have calories, as you said. And now today we have wine as um, this whole industry where you're looking at the quality and also finding wines that you can age, um, both reds and whites, from this beautiful region in Italy. Yeah, I think this is the beauty of this kind of wines, that uh, every year is uh, a different page of, uh, of the book. All right. Well, thank you for being here and for sharing some of your family history with us. Thank you for giving me the opportunities. It's fantastic always to, to tell the story of uh, family, Verdicchio and Marche region. <laughs>